First off is Gmail, Google's web-based email client. I'm pretty sure you already know it. So if you like Gmail's layout and features, Gmail with Google Workspace enables you to get a custom domain name for your email. So instead of robert at gmail.com, you could have something like robert at mybusiness.com. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'll explain what all 18 Google Workspace apps do. Because let's face it, Google is not doing a good job promoting all the apps. But essentially Google Workspace is a hub for teamwork and productivity. You will be able to communicate one-on-one, -on -one, in groups, work together on documents and share and store files on the cloud and many other features. If you have ever used Microsoft Teams, then it's very similar but just a bit more scattered. So let's dive in. Google Drive is a cloud storage and file sharing service that allows you to store and access files from anywhere with an internet connection. You can also collaborate on documents, spreadsheets, and presentations with your team in real time. Google Docs is a web-based word processing application that allows you to create and edit documents online. It's like Microsoft Word, but online. It supports real-time collaborations and version control, so you can work with your team on the same document at the same time. You can also do little pranks with your colleagues if you're into that. Google Sheets is a web-based spreadsheet application that allows you to create and edit spreadsheets online. So it's like Google's version of Excel. It also supports real-time collaboration and variety of formulas and functions for data analysis, pretty much same as Excel. Now, Google Looker Studio is not technically part of Google Workspace, but I just think it's such a nice tool to visualize any data you have. It connects easily to your Google Sheets or Google Analytics, and you have a huge library of templates to bring your data to life. Google Slides is a web-based presentation app that allows you to create and edit slideshows online. Again, very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. You can also collaborate with your team in real time and it offers a variety of design templates and customization options. There are even websites where you can just choose one of the thousands of templates and download the ones you like. Google Chat is a messaging platform that allows users to send direct messages or create groups, conversations, and collaborate with others in real time. It integrates seamlessly with other Google apps, and it also has features such as file sharing, video calls, and bots. Here are some bots that are available to install in Google Chat. And if you have a bigger team, then this is probably the app you will be spending most of your time because it's just a way for you to chat with your team online. It's like Microsoft Teams, but with a bit less features. Or for those that we still remember, it's like MSN. Google Meet is a video conferencing service that allows you to host virtual meetings and webinars. Similar to Zoom, it supports screen sharing, live captioning, and real-time collaboration making it a great tool for remote teams. And you can automatically add Google Meet links in the Google Calendar when you schedule an appointment. This takes us to Google Calendar, which is a web-based calendar app that allows you to schedule and organize events and appointments. And it even has an appointment scheduling feature. People can choose a time that you are free and they can book an appointment with you. This eliminates the back and forth emails for finding the perfect time for both of you. Google Forms is a web-based survey and questionnaire tool that allows you to create and send surveys online. It offers a variety of question types and customization options and can be used for anything from customer feedback to employee satisfaction surveys. I also have a full tutorial on this, so just click on the pop-up banner at the top here. Google Keep is a note-taking application that allows you to create and organize notes online. So it's like uh, Notion or Evernote, but with a bit fewer features though. It supports voice memos, checklists, and reminders, and can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection, obviously, because it's a cloud application. Google Sites is a web-based website builder that allows you to create and publish websites online. It offers a variety of design templates and customization options. But honestly, it's too basic for any serious business, but for personal or school projects, it's perfect because it's free. Cloud Search is Google's unified search platform that allows you to search for information across all Google Workspace apps and also third-party applications and data sources. Jamboard is a digital whiteboard application that allows you to collaborate in real time draw and write with digital markers and import images and files. It's a great tool for remote teams to brainstorm and work together in real time. 
You could even buy a physical Jamboard, but one from Google costs $5,000. So it's not really for everybody. AppScript is a scripting platform that allows you to automate tasks and build custom workflows across Google Workspace apps. It uses JavaScript syntax and can be used to create custom add-ons, automate data entry, and integrate with external APIs. <laughs> okay, look, if that all sounds like gibberish, don't worry, you probably won't be using it. But just so you know, there is this possibility. The next four apps are for admin purpose, so mostly meant for teams or companies because they are all about security and management of the accounts. Google Workspace Admin is a web-based console that allows the admin to manage user accounts, applications, and settings for the whole organization. It provides a centralized view of all Google Workspace services. The cool thing is that you can install apps from Workspace marketplaces and you can sign up to all of these apps with your Google Workspace account. So it uses single sign-on. That means if one day someone leaves your team, you can just disable or remove the person in admin console and they will lose access to the third-party app as well. Just makes it more secure and easier to manage when you have a lot of team members. Google Endpoint is a security management platform that helps protect your organization's devices from malware and other cyber threats. It allows you to set up policies for device management, application management, and data protection. Google Vault is a data retention and e-discovery tool that allows you to retain, search, and export your organization's data across all Google Workspace apps. It's a great tool for legal and compliance teams, as well as businesses that need to retain data for regulatory purposes. Google Work Insights is an analytics tool that allows you to track and analyze the usage of Google Workspace apps within your organization. It provides insights into how your team collaborates and uses the tools, and can help you to optimize your workflows and improve productivity. If you're still unsure if you need Google Workspace or if you can just use the free version of Google Apps, then check this video right here. I'll dive deeper into what are the differences and whether it is worth paying for Workspace.